It's seven days to the presidential elections, at least for now. Well, seven crucial days they will turn out to be at the end of the day. There's been a lot of build-up to the elections. Politicians still bicker whether the elections should hold as scheduled or not. Well, expectations and concerns continue to mount over the date of the elections. Good evening. Welcome to Nigeria 2015. I'm Chamberlain Uso. Well, many thought the dust over the conduct of the elections has settled, but that may not necessarily be the case. The meeting of the National Council of State notwithstanding, the Independent National Electoral Commission has now scheduled a meeting with political parties as well as the resident electoral commissioners tomorrow, Saturday, February 7th, on this same matter. Well, afterwards, the commission will then tell the country in a press conference whether the elections will hold or be postponed. Well, there is indeed great expectation now on the commission to see what they eventually decide. Well, we'll get a hear from our team of correspondents who will be on hand to bring us up to the minute concerning what is going on at their location. Well, that will come up uh, much later. Well, what discussions are going on on the social media? Our web team, again, will provide several platforms for you to participate and get your voice heard on the program. You can tweet at us using the hashtag Nigeria2015. But please don't forget to use the Twitter handle you see on your screen. Well, even the electorate are caught up in the frenzy with split opinion whether the elections will hold or be postponed. And so we now ask you that you can tell us in the light of all that is going on around you, if you could hashtag no to election postponement, or are you saying yes to election postponement? But don't forget, uh, you have to use the hashtag Nigeria2015, while you also use the hashtag, whether you want the election postponed or otherwise, and then you can go ahead and add other comments to it. But if you have comments or questions, you can always send us an email, nigeria2015 at channelstv.com. Well, joining us tonight, Mr. Mecca Ngige is a senior advocate of Nigeria. And uh, from Abuja, Ishala Filani is a member of the People's Democratic Party. Well, Dele Alake, Director of Strategy, Buhari Campaign Organization, will join us via phone. And on Skype, also from Abuja, Michelle Aryan is the EU Head of Delegation. So that's the lineup of those who will be speaking to us about this matter of election postponement or otherwise. Let's take you through memory lane now about what has been said or what is being done. Who is saying what about this? Some of them. But let's go as far back as, say, 2011. Well, remember, in 2011, the commission set out to conduct the elections, but everyone went out on the first day and they met something else. But the chairman spoke up on that matter, and here's what he said. As you know, the National Assembly, that is House of Representative and Senate elections, are supposed to be taking place as I speak. You would also have noticed that things have not proceeded smoothly as expected with the elections. The reason for this is an unanticipated emergency we have experienced with the late arrival of result sheets in many parts of the country. The result sheets are essential to the elections and their integrity. Accordingly, in many places, our officials have not reported at the polling units, making it now difficult to implement the modified open ballot procedure that we have adopted. Not only do we have to enter the results in the sheets, the number of accredited voters is also to be entered in the result sheets. While we could have proceeded with the elections in a few states of the country, where all the materials are available, such as Lagos, Kaduna, Kebi, Delta, Zamfara, and Enugu, among others, 
in order to maintain the integrity of the elections and retain effective overall control of the process, the Commission has taken the very difficult but necessary decision to postpone the National Assembly elections to Monday, April 4, 2011. I appeal to all Nigerians for their understanding in this very difficult situation. Don't get it wrong, that is not breaking news. That was what happened in 2011. So uh, let's bring it back to today now concerning uh, the commentary that is making the rounds lately about this. Well, let's start off with the permanent voter cards. That's the reason why some people think that Agnet should do what they have to do if they feel that the distribution of the permanent voter cards are not being spick and span. Well, yes, indeed, don't forget that we've got uh, 68 point eight million number of registered voters we should see that now that's the figure coming through from the commission there you go that's the number of registered voters that the commission says they've got now the next slide then tells us the figure that the commission has spoken of that as at the 5th of february this year the figure of those who have collected their permanent voter cards those who the commission has been able to distribute to is this 45.09 million permanent voter cards have been distributed by the commission. And then, this is in spite of all that has been said before, all of those meetings eventually held. Uh, but then, uh, those permanent voter cards that has been paid for and have not been delivered is 1.3 million PVCs. And so that's what uh, the commission is going to have to grapple with. But then, this surprising to a lot of people, 1.1 million permanent voter cards, we understand, has been stolen. Uh, the Commission says they plan to replace this before the general elections go on. But all of this notwithstanding, the National Council of State held their meeting, and uh, the chairman of ANEC was also there. And we understand he did address, he briefed the council concerning the elections for, uh, which he said to hold lately. But then, uh, somebody text of what he was quoted to have told that council is, let's see that now. He received a briefing, a uh, security report from the Office of the National Security Advisor about what they think of security in those troubled areas. So there he was said to have said that, uh, uh, we should just go ahead and see some of the quotes of what he said. Let me look through and bring that to you now, the text coming through from him. He is reported to have cited a new security report from the Office of the National Security Advisor, uh, stating that, quote, it's a new development that I cannot certainly ignore or take lightly. He also read out uh, saying, although our state of preparedness may not be 100% or perfect, and although a bit of time, a bit of additional time will enable them to improve and perfect the current level of preparedness, we believe that we are ready for the elections as planned. But not long uh, today, the Commission, as you might have heard in the opening sequence, have gone ahead and scheduled a meeting. They will hold that meeting with resident electoral commissioners uh, and then chairman of political parties and the secretaries about what will they eventually do. So that is the lineup for today. I'll go ahead and meet uh, uh, Mr. Chris Ngege, senior advocate of Nigeria. I make and a big help. <laughs> Thank you for joining us all the same this evening. Pleasure Thank to you. have you. Thank you, Timberley. About the postponement of the elections, I know that people easily cite Section uh, 26 of the Electoral Act here, citing subsection 1 about postponement of elections. Yes. How relevant is this to the issue at hand? Well, it is relevant uh, provision which empowers INEC where there are threats to uh, law and order, or where there is a natural emergency or uh, an act of God for INEC to postpone the election and hold it at another day. The Electoral Act uh, in 26 empowers INEC to postpone. But I don't know whether that session is uh, all that relevant to the issue at stake because the problem at hand uh, has been on about Northeast and about uh, PVC. 
Okay, Let, let's go to the permanent voter cards. What's your impression? What have you noticed out there about collection of the permanent voter cards? Well, the issue of permanent voter card is a misgrail in the sense that there are those whose name were deleted.